hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another football video one player that every club needs to sign every premier league club that is but anyway guys i want to get straight out to this video so guys you know what to do you're a big fan for not you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching let's go so with us so we're going to go in alphabetical order obviously i'm going to go with dominic calvin lowey and um, dominic calvin lowey has got just three years left on his contract and probably will cost around 45 million for Arsenal to go buy him. Um, now he is out currently injured in the Premier League. So, you know, what's happening there? You know, you'll probably will buy an injured player. I don't know how, how long he's actually out for. But Dominic Havard, I think he deserves a better, um, not a better club. Just, a, you know, more regular chance to play football. Don't forget, Aubameyang does look like on his way out of Arsenal. After his disciplinary at Arsenal, you know, he's not involved in the first team training anymore, so I guess he's training by himself at Arsenal. So I think Dominic Cavanoy will be an excellent buy for Arsenal. Now, Dominic Cavanoy just increased his chance getting into the England squad as well, signing for Arsenal. 24 years old as well, so you are getting, you know, maybe. Eight years out of this striker, um, a really good player. I do think he is. I think he'd be an excellent signing for Arsenal. So that's why I went with Dominic Calvin Lowe for Arsenal. Next up, Delhi Ali. Now, Delhi Ali. Now this video was in uh, production line of being made up about two weeks ago. He's played a couple of more times since I started making this video up. But I've gone with Daddy Ali for Villa. Why? Because I think Jack Greenlish is still left a big hole in Villa. Um, if you were a regular viewer of mine, you hear my primary prediction and you hear me mention this problem constantly. Now, Daddy Ali to me is a good England player, good, you know, young, experienced England player. Is he going to get his time at Tottenham? It's going to remain to be seen. He did play the last game against Liverpool as I'm recording this. But I think he'd be an excellent player up at Villa. Um, you know, to help out with their, you know, their struggles and everything else that's going on at Villa. Player like Daddy Ali could actually help out as well. Um, not only on the pitch, but his experience that he's learnt from Tottenham. It's going to be a very, very interesting window um, as well, considering there's only a month. But Daddy Ali for me definitely will suit Villa more than once, more to the ground. And, you know, I think Villa should really go for him in the next window. Next up, Brentford. Um, for Anderson, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. You know who it is anyway. But this player, you know, being a right back like he is, only 20 years old as well. So, you know, you may be getting 12 years maybe. Brazilian um, citizenship. And I think you could see Brentford right down to the ground. Obviously, Brentford are having a great Premier League window anyway. But they can always do with strengthening. Um, but this player, he's pretty cheap as well for his age. Um, I'm going to guess around maybe eight and a half million by the time he's done his contract. But for Anderson, a right back. Um, there's some really good stats as well. It's, you know, he's played over 30 times for his club this season. Three goals to his name as well. So, you know, a really, really interesting player there. Uh, he plays in Serie A. Uh, so, you know, he's really interesting, good current player there. Definitely a player I think Brentford should go for. So, obviously, my club, Brighton. Um, I went with... Eddie and Nelson. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. Now, before we, oh, before we get down to that, you've always mentioned, especially when I talk to you about my match vlogs, that we play brilliant football. Yeah, just cover the ball in the net. This could be the answer to our problems. Eddie and Nelson, he's 22 years old. A great young player. And not only that, he's got a cost bright and silch. He's allowed to talk about free remove for next season. Coming up. You know, why not go for him and actually why not, you know, sign him? 
We always ask him for a striker down at Brighton and an excellent young player he is. He's only played three times for Arsenal this season in the Premier League. 22 years old. I think he's been at Arsenal pretty much all his life. Um, I don't think I think he might came through the Arsenal wakes. I'm not too sure about that, so please don't quote me on that. But you know, he's played with players with who's been in Europa League, Champions League, which is where Brighton's next step is. Europa League top ten finish. Um, great signing for Brighton there. I really do think that he could really help Brighton push forward as well. Um, but 22 years old, uh, Elliot Nelson, free contract, uh, not free contract, free. Um, transfer free. He's a free hit. Why not go for him? Um, I love to see him at Brighton, and he's one of the few players I've actually put down. But I've had to put one player down for every club, so that's why I put down for Brighton. But yeah, great hit there. Why not go for him? I love to see him in the blue and white or Brighton. I've scattered remain to be seen. Burnley next up, I went Jack Butlin. Now, Jack Butlin, he's got a year and six months left on his contract so you know he's going to cost a bit but you know why not um get him in Burnley because okay you got Nick Pope in there and I think to me and this I just expect Pitford but I believe Nick Pope should be England number one uh, I believe he's a great keeper but Jack Butlin's experience even in just on the Burnley training ground could be the key for Burnley staying up. Don't forget Burnley are in a lot of trouble at this present in time and really do look like the threat going down. But I think Jack Butlin may be able to save him more than one area and it'd just be a very, very interesting keeper to have at Burnley and to see whether he can help Burnley in any way, shape or form. Next one, obviously, is Chelsea. I went with Eddie and Hazard. Now, I went with Hazard because now I'm not sure how he is doing. I think he's currently out injured in Madrid. But I did read a couple of months back that he is struggling. Um, I think with game time as well. Um, but I'm not too sure, you know, what else. But Eddie and Hazard to come back to Chelsea to help Thomas Tuca. You know, the likes of the young boys that are coming through at Chelsea, the likes of Reese James, Mason Mount. You know, they've got Lukaku there to help already. Um, I think Eden Hazard will be a top player to have back at Chelsea and will help the young boys through a lot. And also, he's a dangerous player as well in the Premier League. He's one of them players where your club goes up against him, you're thinking... You know, if the play, your team got a job to do, so, you know, why not go for him and actually see what, you know, bring him back in and help him and uh, let him out the boys and blue and be a really powerhouse to Chelsea, who are struggling with goals over recent times as well. Um, I think they only won by one or two goals over the past few weeks. I believe their last game they drew as well, but I can't remember who it was against. But, yes, they drew to Wolverhampton Wanderers, that's it. Nil-nil. Chelsea, Eden Hazard could be the answer to your questions. Next up, Crystal Palace. I went with Ashton Maitland-Niles from Arsenal. Now, Ashton Maitland-Niles, you know, a good Arsenal centre midfielder. I think he's struggling to get in the Arsenal squad. I still reckon he is under um, Arteta, But I think he'd be a great signing for Palace. Only 24 years old. Only got a couple of years left on his contract as well. Let's remember that I think it's Conor Gallagher. He's got to go back to Chelsea. And I think Maitland Niles could actually fill that spot quite comfortably. He's another dangerous player I've always looked at and actually gone, you know, we're up against it here. And, you know, he can actually hold the ball as well. Um, so he's a right midfielder, but his other positions are a centre midfielder and a right back. So you get three for the price of one there at Crystal Palace. Why not sign Ashton Maitland Niles from Arsenal? Next one is I keep pretending I'm going to do my Premier League positions. Is a uh, Saint Maximus for Everton now? Saint Maximus obviously currently playing for Newcastle. If they do sell Dominic Calvin Louis, I do believe Dominic Calvin Louis will be on the move this window. I don't know why, I've just got a funny feeling. 
and I know Everton fans ain't happy anyway with under Rafa Benitez and all the stuff that's going on there. So Maximus obviously playing quite well up at Newcastle and uh, so you know he could maybe be the answer to your problems um, up at Everton. I know he's benched quite a lot, I think he was benched during Newcastle's last game and uh, you know why not go for him Everton. Really good striker there and I think he could maybe get a few goals for you as well and uh, you know, as I said, why not go for him? You know, you've got nothing to lose, really. Next one is Leagues United. I've gone with Phil Jones from United. Now, I went with Phil Jones because I believe Premier League clubs nowadays uh, don't just buy players for, for their expertise. I believe they buy them for what they've learned as well. Now, if you think of Phil Jones from United, he has basically... Play Champions League, Europa League. He's a real package player. Well, I think he might struggle to get back into that United lineup as well once he's declared back fit. I think he's unavailable, but like, can't even run his shoe back. But I know he's out for maybe another two, three weeks yet. But, you know, why not sign him? Um, as I said, he's got the likes of Ferran. Uh, Buying Lindelof, Maguire, he's got all them defenders to compete with. I really can't see him getting back into that starting eleven. I think he'd be an excellent signing for leagues. So why not go for him and just get him for his expertise? And maybe play him as well because league ain't doing that great in the Premier League. I think they considered 10 goals within the last two games. So why not go for him and see what happens? Next up, Leicester. Douglas Lanzini, I know, sorry, Diego Lanzini, I hope I pronounced that last name correctly. And um, from Albertis. Now, I've pretty much with Leicester, I'm trying to look where obviously every club has strengthening. I think Douglas, and uh, not, why have I got Douglas stuck in my head? Diego, uh, you know, I think he really could help um, Leicester with their problems. Only age of 21 years old as well. He's played three times in Europa League. He could play right wing, left wing and attack midfielder. So he could just slip behind Jeremy Vardy if Leicester want to go down that route. 21 years old. Plenty plenty of uh, experience to be left in him. He's only made three appearances in Europa League as well for Real Betis. I'm not sure how far Europa League is. I think it's weak. Eight. I know it's coming to a knockout stage anyway. But yeah, uh, Diego Lan Lanzini, I think I just said Douglas again as well. Well, apologies if I just did. But Diego Lanzini, um, great player there, 21 years old, and really could actually help Leicester along. Because Leicester do always have the struggle of, you know, um, just... Keeping it in there, they like go for a bad form, and that's what seems to, you know, end their season really. Next up, Liverpool, Unsum Dembele from Barcelona. Now this deal, now Liverpool could actually do a swap deal. Mo Salah has been linked to move away from Anfield. Uh, you know, over the past window or two. This is Dembele for a swap deal for Mo Salah. That ain't too bad. I want to see Dembele play in the Premier League anyway before he retires. Whether it will happen, we'll have to wait and see. But Unson Dembele for Liverpool. Great player, great swap deal. I think he can play on the right and left as well. Um, I think he is a current winger. So, you know, you're getting a great winger there. Maybe, I think he played uh, right and left as well. So, you're getting two for the price of one really there. And I know Liverpool could perhaps play him down the middle as well, if need be. But, you know, you've got a top player there. Why not go for him and just, you know, see what happens? I mean, every player every player you buy now is a base of, basically a risk anyway. So, you know, why not? Um, but, yeah, Unson Dembele for Liverpool. Next up, Manchester City... Uh, Feldud Corrado, I'm 
probably messed up that Miles off the line, apologies if I have in any way, shape or form. Centre midfielder from Inter Milan. Now, we all know that Man City are struggling for strikers. Sad news about Sergio Aguero, happy to retire for football. Best of wishes to him and, you know, his future. But, you know, we all know Man City are struggling for a striker since Aguero left. Um, now, keep playing Jesus down the middle, they keep playing Sterling down the middle. This player could really be a real deal for Man City. You know, only 21 years old. Currently, I don't think he's playing for Inter Milan. I believe he's out on loan. But 21 years old, he's got still got that time left in him to knock some experience into him and to actually see, you know, whether he can save Man City. Don't forget, Pep Guardiola is taking players and turning them into actually global superstars. But I'll burn with him for Manchester City just because of his age and they need a striker. But 21 years old, keep an eye out for the name and uh, let's see what happens. But I think Man City should definitely go through in the next window. Next up, Manchester United. I went with Alps Atsi from Aston Villa. Alps Atsi for Aston Villa is one of these players that really does play well. I know every time my local club plays Villa and he's playing, I know we're up against it. Um, I believe Alves actually could actually fit into that filler squad as well. Now, Alves actually, you know, I think he plays on the right-hand side. I know they got the likes of Sancho already, Ronaldo already, you know, whoever plays down the left, Marcus Rashford or whoever. But Alves actually surely could fit in that Man United squad and surely help the United squad as well. Uh, as I said, he's a really dangerous player. Why not sign him and, you know, get him up to Man United and actually, could actually be a real steal there for Man United as well. Next up, Newcastle, Jesse Lingard. Jesse Lingard, now it has been rumoured that he will start United past this window, but I believe Newcastle should still try and go for him. Now, we all know Newcastle have had the big money takeover and gone, you know, we've got 300 million in the bank, well, yeah, whatever, but... You still have got to take your time. Jesse Lingard could be a big step in that recovery process up at Newcastle. Now, to me, we've had Jesse Lingard on loan. When I say we, I'm in my local club. And I think it's the second year we were at the Amex. I know, I know it went too long since we've been at the Amex. Great player, great wing. I think he can help Newcastle a lot. And I believe he could be a real steal for Newcastle United. And it'd just be a really, really interesting time up at Newcastle for Jesse Lingard. Especially if they survive this season uh, up at Newcastle and push up from that season. Because Jesse Lingard, I believe, it could be a big help in that recovery process. And it's going to take a lot of work for Newcastle to do that. So... You know, it's going to be a really interesting time for Newcastle. Jesse Lingard, perfect signing for you, I believe. Next up, Norwich. Nathan Patterson from Rangers, I went with. Because, uh, you know, Norwich are struggling at the back. You know, they're still fighting for survival. And, you know, why not? Um, Nathan Patterson from Rangers, as I just said. He's a right back, left back, and right midfielder, so he can actually play three possessions. For, so, yet again, you get a three for the price of one. And he's only played twice for Rangers in your Europa League this season. I don't believe he's played in the Scottish League at all. But still young, and uh, so why not go for him? Still young, still only 20, so being a, a defender, which is his main position. You probably look at 12 years to get out of him. And, uh, you know, why not go for someone like this age? That way he's still under Dean Smith as well. He could build his qualities and everything else that comes into it. It's going to be a really interesting window from Norwich. I believe they're going to have an interesting window, even though it's only a month long as well. But, yeah, Nathan Patterson from Rangers I went with for Norwich. Next up, Southampton. I went with Mitchfidge from Fulham. Now, Mitchfidge had a great season up at Fulham. I believe he's passed 20 goals already. And, uh, 
you know, Southampton, you know, got a few good goal scorers already, why not add another one? And, uh, you know, I believe it could be a really interesting signing for Southampton, Alexander Mitrovic, because he's playing so well. I mean, I can see some of you going, where's Chan Hesha got there? I believe he's got the Premier League, I still believe he's got Premier League quality, even though he's been in with Fulham and they've been relegated, don't forget, with football it's not just the attack, midfield and defence is all of it. And uh, Alexander Mitrovic for Fulham, great signing for Southampton, get it done. Next up, Spurs. So I went with Christian Rivaldo, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that last name correctly, apologies if I'm not, from Valencia. So, he is a goalkeeper from Valencia, as I've just said. And, fair enough, okay, Tottenham got a few go to reach, but this keeper is so young, only 23 years old, and barely go across the thing in money football these days. A really, really good uh, young keeper there. Spanish as well, so, you know, it's got... Spanish citizenship. Why not bring him in a good young keeper? Could help the uh, young kids as well. Uh, the under twenty three is Premier League two, whatever you want to call it. A really good keeper there. Only just age twenty three, and uh, you know he only joins in August twenty. So he's only had six months at Valencia as well. So if Valencia are going for him, Washington, Tottenham in this next window. I'm not sure whether they can or not. I think they can. But if they can't, definitely in the next window. And uh, definitely a good sign in there if Tottenham can get them across the line. Next one is Watford. Martial, I went with uh, for Watford, you know, from Man United. Martial, for me, a great, great player he is. Uh, you know, is he going to get in the United team? You know, what will happen to Martial? He's only 26 as well, I believe. So, a really big player there. And uh, why not go for him and actually see whether he could do any good up at Watford. Down at Watford, sorry, because he's up at... Yeah, so it's down from Manchester, up from me. And, uh, you know, he could be a really good player there. And don't forget, we've all got lots of Ben Frost and Tom Kirby. All came from United. At some point they'll play at United anyway. But it's going to be a really interesting keeper there. Uh, in forward there. And it's going to be a really key sign if, if Watford get across the line. But I was seriously trying to get a one done Watford. Surely United can't be holding up for much. Don't forget I've got Mason Greenwood on the bench as well. The next one is West Ham. Uh, Rivers off the street for Chelsea. I don't know how many Chelsea watch alongs I've done this season. I think I've done about two or three. Uh, now, if you do watch me on the chat, you watch along, I always do mention Rivers off the cheek. To me, a brilliant midfielder. Don't forget, Declan Wise could be on the move this window as well, so we will be looking for replacements for him. Now, Loftus Cheek for me, he's a great, great midfielder. I believe it's not being appreciated enough at Chelsea. Not, obviously, it's way Thomas Tuchel wants to go, but a brilliant, brilliant midfielder at Chelsea. And to me, I think he can only really be a big help up at West Ham to see you know where we can do anything there but I believe he can I believe he's still a top top striker so West Ham get that one done the next, next and last one is uh, Wolverhampton Frank Kissian from AC Milan he's 25 years old um, he could play centre, midfielder, defence midfielder. Now, Wolverhampton really don't know what I need that help. Maybe just a little help behind which way this player could come into play. You know, he's got to be a big money signing. He's made five appearances for the Champions League, one assist for AC Milan. So it would be a big signing for Wolverhampton there. Uh, definitely try to get one done more random. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. You're a big fan of the enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.